Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. I'm James and we are down at Old Fats Bayou. This is my first time ever fishing down here guys. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the kayak and we'll get on the water. Hopefully we can catch a fish today guys. I'll see you guys out there. All right guys, we're, we're launching at Old Fats Bayou. Uh, it's the boat ramp near 61st or on 61st, I'm sorry. Ooh, that water is chilly. Let's see if we can get on. I just need to get to a little bit deeper water and then uh, I'll drop the transducer down and uh, We'll get the drive in. All right, I think we're good. Right there. All right, just get the drive in. All right. Oh, I need to deploy the rudder. Okay, so I, I just dropped the rudder down and i dropped the transducer and i mean literally not too far away from the launch we're picking up 24 feet my goodness that is deep that is really deep okay so <clears throat> Let's go ahead and head this way. The game plan today, guys, is to uh, fish the docks in the pier over here at Ofat's Bayou. Uh, we got winds coming in from the south, about five miles per hour. So hopefully the water stays pretty calm today. I'm using live croaker as bait, so we'll go ahead and we'll head over here we'll fish the docks and the piers uh, we may head out to to the open area there try to fish that open water we'll just see what we get into guys wow it's picking up 24 feet 24 feet deep man the water is super calm this morning we're gonna start off with this miradine and see if we can uh entice any bites I see some uh, I see some blow ups going on over here so I'm just heading this way All right, this is my last cast with this Miradine. I see blow ups happening, but I'm not sure if it's trout or if it's something else. I wanna say they're trout. All right, we're gonna go ahead and toss out the popping cork. Uh, we're gonna be throwing out this this Berkeley gulp shrimp and a new penny and basically what I did was uh, I nose hooked the, the bait and we'll just cast this out and we'll see if we get any hits Let's see if we can turn around this way to make our cast
right, here we go. Let's see if we get any bites. Wasn't really getting a whole lot of bites over there in the open, so I'm just gonna cast towards this pier, this uh, this dock. I'm sorry. Let the the wind and the current drift me and see if I get any bites. And that wind picked up out of nowhere. I'm just working this structure here, guys. The water got a little rough right there. I think there's quite a bit of current that just picked up right over there. First fish of the day, guys. Let's see what we got. All right, first speckled trout for the morning. I was afraid that I was gonna get scut today. I'm gonna have to reposition the boat real quick. We're about to hit that dock. I had to reposition the kayak real quick just to make sure we don't hit anybody's property. I don't want to be running into anybody's uh, dock or pier. First speckled trout for the morning caught on a uh, popping cork with a uh, Berkeley gulp shrimp. Beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. Let's get a real quick measurement. I think he's probably like 14. See more blow ups over there. See this guy. Yeah, right at 14. All right. You sir, you keep on growing. Beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. This is where I caught that first speckled trout right here at this dock. I'm just uh, giving it a few more casts. I heard blow ups over there. Just watching for wake. Let me cast over here. Quite a bit of, quite a bit of wake there. It's getting hit. We're getting bites, but uh, I think it's small fish just messing with maybe pinfish or something. We have a few more, uh, a few more pieces of structure that I want to fish, and then uh, we'll switch to the uh, to the live croaker.
Okay, we're gonna go with some live croaker. And what I have here is a, uh, a medium powered rod on, uh, I think this is 30 pound test, 30, 30 pound braid. It's a Japanese line to a Penrath 4000 series. And we got it down to a 3 8 3 8 ounce uh, egg sinker to a small bead swivel, 20 pound leader line to a, uh, this is a two aught circle gamakatsu hook and i've got the croaker hooked right through the top there and uh, i'm gonna cast this out and uh we'll just we'll see if we get anything it's been a tough morning it's been a tough tough morning i'm gonna let that hit all the way to the bottom all right we got two rods out both of them have live croaker uh, the depth right here is about 20.8 feet and I'm just going to wait and see if anything will pick it up. Tough morning guys, just tough, tough bite. Hopefully something will hit it soon. Alright guys, I'm just heading back towards the, uh, the bank line here. I went out into the open water, didn't have much luck. What I'm doing is I'm just trolling. I got that live croaker out there. He's just drifting out there in the back. But uh, yeah, I didn't have much luck out there in the open water. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna stick to what I know and that's fishing structure. That's tends to be where the fish hang out at. Wind picked up quite a bit out there in the open, so uh, I think we'll be covered by the land here. Hopefully uh, we can land something for you guys. See if anything picks it up. See if I can get this all the way in there. Let him go all the way to the bottom. <sighs> Whew, it's just a tough day, guys. So I threw the croaker on that side and now I got one over here. I really uh I really don't know what else to do guys. Um I'm gonna try one. Oh Are we on? Are we on? Oh Oh my goodness What was that? Let's try that again something something had it oh man hopefully it hits it again oh we're on guys we're on oh my god what is it it's not getting it I let it go again. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to hold my position guys. Whatever that was, I hit it. Hopefully it'll hit it again.
I may do a few more casts with this croaker and I think what I'll do is uh, I'll take the croaker off and put the, the gulp shrimp on and see if we get any bites. All right, we're gonna go back in using the uh, gulp shrimp. See if we get any bites. All right, fish on. Oh. What do we got? What is that? Oh, I can push my way out. Sand trout. This is what's biting. Sand trout. All right, buddy, hang on, hang on. All right, so uh, this is what's biting under that bridge is sand trout. Um, the croakers aren't working, so I switched to the uh, the Berkeley gulp, and we got a bite right away. So let's get back in there. All right, there we go. See you later, buddy. Let's get a let's get another cast in guys. Hopefully we get bit again. There was a big drop off that I just saw earlier. It went from like 18 17 18 feet to like 34 feet it was crazy Okay, caught me by surprise, buddy. Get in the boat. Another sand trout. Hey, anyway, at this point, at this point, I will take it. It's been a tough morning. Let's see if we can get this guy unhooked here. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I'm just trying to help you out, buddy. Just trying to get the hook out. Ugh. All right, there we go. Okay. One more sand trout. and let this guy go about to hit this hit this dock here Let's do it again. All right, here we go. There's approach number three. Let's see if we can hold our position here just for a second. 
We'll cast it right over there by the pylons. They do they don't want croaker, that's for sure. I've been throwing a lot of croaker all morning and uh has zero zero bites. Put on a Berkeley gulp and start getting fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. Man, it's stacked. They are stacked with sand trout here. Holy moly. Man, you, you tried to inhale that thing, didn't you? All right, here's the uh, third sand trout that we caught today. They're stacked right under that bridge right there. All right, buddy. Let them go. go back in one last time guys all I'm using is a uh, a small number two or three circle hook with a gulp shrimp it's this one here it's the Berkeley gulp shrimp three inch and new penny we got some weight coming because the boat just passed so we'll let that we'll let that finish Quite a bit of weight. Okay. Alright, that's I think that's it. Alright, let's go in one last time. See if we get anything. I just want to catch one more fish before I go home. All right, we're on. Feels like another sand trout. Yep. One more sand trout. All right, buddy. You are the last one for the day. Last sand trout for the day, guys, is number four. Go ahead and let this guy go. Okay. Well, we're fishing. We're fishing this little marina here, this little bridge. And that's where I was getting all my bites. Definitely a, definitely a struggle this morning, guys. Man, this morning was a struggle. We could not catch anything except that one speckled trout. I was using the live croak, but I think I think if I was using live shrimp, I would have had more success. But they didn't have any live shrimp at the bait store, so I went with the croaker. Wind is picking up, guys. So uh, we are heading back to the boat launch at a time but i'm happy i'm happy i was at least to catch at least got to catch a few fish today and uh not go home with a skunk yeah next time i come out here guys if i ever come fish uh at old fox bayou again um 
I'm, I'm going straight to that bridge. That's that's that structure I know is holding fish. It has to be holding good sized predator fish. So yeah, it's it's a learning it's a learning lesson for me, guys. Okay, guys. So right right in front of the boat ramp, it's reading at 31 feet, 31.5, 31.3. It's like really deep right over here. I want to say as soon as as soon as you launch the boat or you launch a kayak, it's, it's literally like it's like a 20 foot drop off. It's literally like a cliff. It's crazy.